Ah, here we are. I thought I was looking for them and they're all here. <laughs> so there we go. So can I can I let, let me let me start you off with with one simple wine? Good. Yeah, and then and then I'll, I'll start explaining to you a little bit about. Uh, uh, basically, basically, basically here in the region, right? It's 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 white wine and it's riesling, uh -huh. right? Uh, you can get rieslings from all over the world, right? You have rieslings in California, you have rieslings in New Zealand, yeah. uh, even in Alsace, right? Uh, what makes the Riesling here very special, right, is the Moselle. And the reason why the Moselle is very special, right, is because you have a special form of microclimate caused by the valley, mm. right. I'm not talking about the steep slopes because this is very normal, it can happen anywhere. Okay, here the slopes are very steep, but that's, that, it has its effect. But what is very important, right, is your, is your, is your uh, microclimate. Mm -hmm. And the microclimate is created by the flow of the river, right? Ah, yeah. Okay, so you have uh, you have this particular area where you are at the moment, right? You have uh, you have, uh, this is what we call the middle mm -hmm. So you have the upper, right, which is starting from uh, from uh, Trier, mm -hmm. goes right down to Koblenz, mm -hmm. right? And we we're, we're we're in the middle. Now, when we talk about microclimate or microclimate. And what do we actually mean? We mean we mean we mean two things. First of all, the moisture in the air mm -hmm. from from the water, right? And then, <coughs> what is very specific and extraordinary is the reflection of the sun on the water and onto the vineyard. This, it, it has it has this mirror effect, mm -hmm. and this mirror effect, right, gives the grapes what we call indirect sunlight. Right, which enhances photosynthesis. Mm. Therefore, the increase in the sugar content in the grapes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this yeah. is this is this is this is one very important concept to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, because yeah, in the gorge, all the there's just the steep um, vineyards that come right down to the water. Yeah. On the Rhine, it's not the same way. No, it's, it's flat. It's and flat. Yeah. It's flat. It's flat. Right now, if you look at if you look at if you look at uh, Marcus Molitor, mm -hmm. right, his 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 property, right, you're looking at you're looking at something like uh, 48, 48 hectares of what would be classified in in uh, in uh, Burgundy as Grand Cru. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, forty eight hectares of Grand Cru. Right now, the difference between and you know Burgundy very well, so mm -hmm. I'll take that as an example. Mm -hmm. If you look at if you look at a Grand Cru in uh, in in the Moselle, for example, right, it is not your Grand Cru is not defined as a Grand Cru because it has been defined by the AOC system uh, many many years ago, uh, 1479 or uh -huh. something of that sort, right? Here your 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 um, your um, rating, uh, your yeah your your quality rating, your quality rating depends on the level of sugar that you have in your grapes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Which means every year there's a new there's a new there's, there's, a, new there's, there's, there's a new game right. right the poker game is played every year in Burgundy for example your your Gevre Chambertin mm -hmm. or for example your Charme Chambertin mm -hmm. or your Bez Chambertin mm -hmm. or uh, your Corton Charlemagne uh, whatever it is yeah. right will always be a Grand Cru. Right. Right. Always. Yeah, I mean, it's grandfather. <laughs> yeah. If, right, and you, it's, rely, you rely on Parker or someone to tell you whether or not that year is good or not. No, now let, no, let me explain to you differently. Okay. If, for example, if, for example, one year you have a bad year, mm -hmm. right, for whatever reason it is, right, in the Burgundy, whatever reason, mistake, mistake in, in, in the climate, mistake in the vineyard, mistake in the winemaking, mistake wherever it is, what hap whatever happens, that wine still remains a Grand Cru. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Irrespective. So you can have a year which is a fantastic Grand Cru, you can have a year which is a medium Grand Cru, you can have a yeah, year. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas in the Moselle, in order to get your mm -hmm. level of prédication, mm -hmm. right, which is your first level is qualité swine, yeah. then you have your cabinet, mm -hmm. then you have your spate laser, then you have your house laser, then you have your barrel, and then you have your trocken yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. in order to go higher up, uh -huh. right? Every year, your poker game is played again, new set of cards, 
new set of role, uh, rules, right? And your your level of sugar is played. Right, mm -hmm. but the rule, the the criteria it's measured against is not taste or anything. It's just strictly sugar content. It's the sugar contract. It's the sugar content con content, content in your grape. Right. Okay. Now, so what happens? So your grapes are now on the, on 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 the trees, mm. right? You have you have a certain level of sugar content, right? You know that sugar that level of sugar content, right, will give you will give you uh, a cabinet, mm -hmm. right? So for example, you have between. It's a lock-in cabinet for sure. Then then you want to gamble by keeping it later um, to get more money. <laughs> That's right. That not 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 gain more money, right? Lose more money. Yeah. Oh, uh, why? What happens? It what happens? Oh, because I know that the the, well, you the, the volume the, the volume right. decreases, but yeah. a lot. Yeah. But um, but I mean, and then it does depend, obviously, on when you can pick it. Um, no, let me no, let me explain to you. So what happens is what happens is you have you have your you have your uh, here sugar is me uh, measured in oxals, mm -hmm. right? Uh, unlike in other parts of the world where they me measure it in bricks, mm -hmm. right? So here you have, you have, uh, for example, uh, you need you need 50, 50 oxals to to classify your wine as a cabinet. Mm -hmm. Under that, under that, right, is Calitate's wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Calitate is a basic yeah. wine. Calitate's wine is wines where you can bring in all sorts of different grapes from the region. Mm -hmm. Oh, mix them. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes, but from the region, right? Mm -hmm. So, so your Moselle is Moselle, Zar is right. Zar, right. Ruhr is Ruhr, right. Right? right? So you got to stick to your region, right? But you can bring grapes from here, from over there, from mm -hmm. over there, from there, and put them all together, right? To make your Calitet wine, all right? And with the Calitet wine, you can capitalize the wine to bring up the level of sugar. You can what? You can. Chaptalize the wine. It's you called. It's add, called. You can yeah. add. You can add sugar. Fortify it. You can add. Yeah. Oh. You, how do they do that? With real sugar, or do they use a, well, another alcohol? Uh, no, 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 no. Normally, 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 you use either sugarcane sugar, sugar, or you yeah. use beetroot sugar, yeah. or you use a natural sugar. Yeah, yeah. Right. And what you do is you can add as much as sugar as you want to bring up, but it remains a calitate sweat. Right. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The basic grape itself has not changed. <laughs> yeah. Now, the moment you go into cabinet, mm -hmm. no more additional sugar, mm -hmm. no more fertilization, no more irrigation, right? It's all strict, right? right? And you have to have a minimum of 60, right? So you go into your, your vineyards. You measure out, you measure out uh, the level of risk, and you say, for example, I'll bring in fifty percent, right, which will pay for my export director, mm -hmm. that's me, right, uh, and my mortgage, and uh, my BMWs, mm -hmm. right, because that's how Germans think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way they think, <laughs> right? Yeah. Except, right, and then you say the rest, right. I'm going to leave a little longer, mm -hmm. all right? So you move, so you move from cabinet to what they call spät laser. Mm -hmm. Now spät laser means harvest, Late. but within mm -hmm. the harvest period. Ah. So there's a beginning and there's an end, which is a declared period of time. Declared each year. Each year, okay. right? Either by time or by level of sugar. Whichever is the longest, mm -hmm. oh. or with, uh, sorry, whichever, yeah, whichever is the longest. So, if say for example, if so, for, say for example, they say thirtieth uh, of uh, November is is the deadline. You wait to the thirtieth thirtieth of December. You check for sugar. Uh, so sorry for November, right. right? Your first check is sugar, right? Because you can keep it longer, yeah. if the sugar is low, yeah. Now. What happens in, the, in a case like this, if your sugar level is not high enough, mm -hmm. right, but you've reached the deadline, it still becomes a cabinet because you haven't, you haven't attained the level of sugar. Gotcha. Okay? So this is the first risk. Then what happens is, if you've attained the level of sugar, you can harvest whatever you want, and then you leave the rest for what we call the Auslaser. Mm -hmm. right? So 
The Ausle is, is your second is your second is your second gamble. Mm -hmm. All right. Here you're looking you're at let it ride for a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you're looking. Here you're looking. Here you're looking at between 110, 120. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. All right. So, so you, it's, it's it's really okay. Uh, most of the people, most of the people, pull out at that period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because what happens next after that? You go into the Baron House laser. When the Baron House laser is something very particular, right? Is you have to wait for your berries, right, to actually naturally dry out, right? right? So your concentration, yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, it's not raisins, right? You can compare it to raisins. It's more like rotting on the vine. It's more rotting on the vine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's it's more rotting. It, it, it's what it's what we call it's what we call the noble rot. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, that, it's the noble rot. Yeah. It's not a raisin. A raisin, you. I know. I, I just meant that it was. It was mu much more dried out than most people think of as grapes. Uh, yeah, 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 but it's 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 even more dried out than a raisin. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a, in fact. It becomes crystallized or not? Uh, no, because at the moment you are not talking. You don't have fr you, you don't have frost, right. and you don't have you don't have you don't have the cold weather that's coming, mm -hmm. right? No, but I mean when 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 it starts crystal. No, 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 no. Here we're talking about barren house Yeah, I know, but when things get very sugary, yeah. like you know, it doesn't. Don't, don't some sugar crystals form um, when it gets so concentrated? The weather isn't no. cold. The weather, the weather it's isn't. Need to have cold weather. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. This, we're we talking about Baron House mm -hmm. laser. Yeah. What you're talking about is now when you moved away from the Baron House laser and you're going into the Trocken Baron House right. laser. Right. right. Here, what happens is, and this is your marking point. Mm -hmm. This is your marking point. When your when your sugar in what we call the dried grapes, not raisins, <laughs> but through noble rot, start to crystallize. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay? okay? Yeah. That's your borderline. At that point in time, you've moved into Trocken Baron Auslese. Mm -hmm. And this is where you now pick from the bunch, you pick from the bunch, you pick from the bunch mm -hmm. those those that are actually and only crystallized. Mm -hmm. um, you can take that with you. Oh, good. But also, don't, um, don't they also use the bottom um, ones that even fall off as well? If they're crystallized, yes. Yeah. If, if but the, they don't have to be on the vine. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Usually, you, usually, usually they won't fall off yeah. because they hang on the tinge, mm -hmm. right? But of course they can do. Right? So, so I mean, so this is now handpicked, mm -hmm. handpicked, selected, right? So you're looking at you're looking at uh, twenty people in the vineyards, bringing the grapes in small buckets putting it on a conveyor belt, 20 people, then again picking it out, right? Because n no mistake, right? Yeah. right? And then you're looking at, if you're lucky, between 30 and 50 liters a year. Mm -hmm. mm. All right? The rest... Yeah, what, now, do they, what do they do with that other stuff? All this other not so great. It stays, it stays on huh? the I plant. Know. And now we wait for the frost. Frost, the ah. frost, frost. Ah. But you have to do it right the day after, or in the morning, um, like you do know, what? To pick the, after the first frost, you have to. Pick no, no, it that no, morning, the, right? the, no, the frost hasn't come yet. We're still. Yeah. We're still okay. You're we're, jumping ahead. Okay, you you want to show off? Be quiet okay. and let him tell his story. Okay. So, but it's very interesting. I had always assumed because my wife kind of gets this confused that the truck and Bachenhauer is after the frost. <laughs> you're saying no. No, it isn't. It's I critical never said that it was. it's before it is, the frost. It's not yeah. nice one. Yeah. Okay. So now, so now, so now, so, so now, what happens is, right? Now you're waiting for the frost. And you're waiting for a minimum, a minimum of minus five. Mm -hmm. It's cold. It's cold. Okay. For oh, it, for it. Yeah. So, thirty-two degrees is zero. I know. I know. Minus five. I know. That's. You would never even go outside in that kind of temperature, honey. <laughs> it's in Fahrenheit. It's like twenty-eight. It's like ten degrees. No, it's like ten degrees. Yeah. Yeah. 10, 12 degrees. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's so cold it would sting you. Yeah. 
right? So, so that's, that's where things now start. Uh, thing, uh, the ice wine now is on its way. You wait till minus 10, because we were talking about minus 5, for the process to start. Mm -hmm. You wait to minus 10, let's say maximum, let's say maximum minus 10, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9. By minus 10, you, you're already there, but, but, but by minus 7, minus 8, right? When you've got your nice ice that's formed around the berries, mm -hmm. right? That's when you send the boys out early in the morning. And why early in the morning, do you know? Um, because I think I heard this one, I don't remember exactly why. But I mean, the, when the sun hits it, it, it um, would start to make it melt? Correct. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. 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 It, it's as simple as that. No. Because, because at you night, yeah, yeah, because at night you would be at minus 10, right? During the day you'd be at minus 8. Right. So those two, two degrees that you're playing for, you'd rather have it at night. Yeah. So we have special floodlights, warm jackets, and we, we, send, we send the team out, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and there they are, right? Uh, in minus, minus 10. Right. When it's dark outside, early morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four it's, in the morning. Yeah, five yeah, in the morning. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. About that time. Yeah. About that time. I mean, it's it's now. So that's why I'm saying I'm saying floodlights. Right. Right. So that they can see the steep because now this is this is the this is the top top uh, part of uh, mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. vineyard. Right. So you're you're all buckled up and you know you're uh, moving you're moving up slowly with the pulley. Right. Helping you you know uh, go up up the slope. Right. And. Uh, you now you're now picking mm -hmm. right theoretically whatever is left yeah. right so here here right if people say we do a selection right on ice wine right th that's not true mm -hmm. yeah. you're just grabbing everything you you you're, you're grabbing what's left right. right okay right because your real selection has already taken place at the, at, the at, at yeah 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 at, yeah either at your uh, right. no either at or your barren barren, barren or trocken mm -hmm. right so now it's just the rest Right, so you're putting it into a bucket, bringing it down, right. trying to maintain the temperature outside, and immediately putting it into the press, right, to get that least of the juice that you can. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's so that's so that's your now your 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 uh, your system, as far as um, right. That's the life of the grape from all the way through. The right. Different phases. Right. Right. Now. Now the other side, the other side of the Moselle, the other side of the Moselle, and this is something that you should know as well, right? Because uh, tasting is one thing, but knowing knowing yeah. knowing about this <laughs> is another, right? Is Moselle is one of the oldest vineyards in the world. The area, yeah. The, By the Moselle, from the Romans, or yeah, from the Romans as well, yeah, F one of the oldest, mm -hmm. right? And not, not but did the did, did the wine growing pers um, like precede the arrival of the Romans? Uh, no, the Romans brought it with them. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. And 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 not 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 uh, not so long ago, hundred years ago, right? Uh, the Riesling was one of the most expensive <coughs> wines in the world. Hmm. I remember that. I, I, I remember. even before even before the Italians, even before the French, mm -hmm. right? Riesling was drunk by the kings and the queens of the world, right? And was three times more expensive than any wine that you could get. That was the Riesling. Mm -hmm. And the funny part is that the Moselle was not planted with Riesling first. It was planted with a Pinot Noir. Oh, really? Yeah. Pinot Noir. I mean. The Burgundians will tell you hundred times and hundred times over <laughs> until you're finally convinced, <laughs> right? And they'll keep on mentioning it until you're finally convinced, right? They say, right, Pinot Noir was born in Burgundy. Mm -hmm. He traveled around the world, mm -hmm. but will come back and die in Burgundy, mm -hmm. right? That is not absolutely true. Mm -hmm. Pinot, Pinot Noir came from here. Oh, really? The original vines? Yeah. yeah. They will never admit yeah. this. And then, and then now, because you're Americans, not because you're Americans, I'm telling you this, but because it's a fact, right? From, from, from here, right, they went to California. Mm -hmm. So when the Californians came to get their rootstock, they didn't go to France, they went to Germany. You got it. It's very interesting. You got it. And that's a fact, and you can read it up. Mm -hmm. And this movie, Bottle Stock. Yes. Bottle Stock. That, that wine that wins 
is a white burgundy, right? Yes. It's a yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 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 what is and what is very funny Do is. Do they still grow much? You know, or is it all risen now? Okay. Now you know the the joke in the stories, and this is now mm. just just in, uh, in 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 as the French would say, parenthèse, right? In in inverted commas or in a bracket. Parentheses. Mm. Parentheses. There you are. Uh, Marcos Molitor, right? Um, a little bit of background on him. Uh, it, this is this is this is actually a family-owned vineyard, right? But uh, he, 20 years ago, had a slight problem with his father mm. because he was very adventurous, wanted to do something very special. His father wanted to do something which, which was quite traditional. So they separated ways, and he created his small company at the age of 20 called Marcus Molitor, mm. right? Mm. So his father's his father's vineyards went to his brother. Right, but he he created his own empire from zero, okay, and he wanted to make Riesling the way it was made those days, hmm. right, and because of the because of the the blue slate and because of the red slate, right, and because of the granite and the slopes and the history and the two thousand years, right, he uh, planted some Pinot Noir. Ah, because he knew that this is Pinot Noir this country. Is the original, yeah. right? Right. Obviously, it couldn't have thrived and flourished unless it was going to be happy here. <laughs> right. So, so he did. He did. He did this in two thousand. In the in the year two thousand, just like he does a lot of things for fun. Right. This yeah. was for fun. Yeah. Right. And in two thousand, his 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 vintage two thousand seven. Yeah. Finally, three weeks ago. Yeah. He decided to put it onto an official tasting panel. Yeah. International. Yeah. Worldwide. Uh -huh. Pinot Noir symposium. Risky. Very risky. But what did he have to lose? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> huh? What did he have to lose? Hmm? Right. <laughs> so you have uh, you have the entry wines, and you have the, the, the then you have the. the Tests all along until you get to you know there's the 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 the, 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 the semifinals and the finals and you mm -hmm. know so finally at the end of the whole story there are 32 wines that are finally selected for the final tasting mm -hmm. and this is all blind and nobody knows nothing right and there are 18 uh, tasters in the jury. And this you can check up in the in the in the net. It's this is a story three yeah. week is three weeks ago. Oh. Just three weeks ago. You're killing me. Let's try that. Have you got some of that yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Get yeah. on to that. Yeah. <laughs> this man, mm -hmm. he won the first prize. Wow. <laughs> it's like bottle shock. It's an incredible story. Yeah. He won the first prize. That's really. Incredible. No. And and of the eighteen people who selected his wine, there were fourteen. So, so, so it wasn't no, 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 no. I, I don't, I don't know the composition yeah. of the jury. What, 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 yeah. what tribe they came from, <laughs> right? Or nationalities, you say, right? But there were, but the one, one thing was, one thing was very clear. Fourteen out of eighteen chose his wine. So it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't, wasn't just a margin. It wasn't <laughs> margin. It wasn't a borderline. It was a very it was overwhelmingly a, decisive. <laughs> it was a very clear decision. Yeah. Though, right. Number one. And against him, he had people from Burgundy, mm. and I won't give you the names because all the names are listed out uh, yeah. uh, on, the, yeah. on, on the internet site, right? N names well, I can guess who they are. Yeah, <laughs> name, name, names that you drink uh, out of pleasure, yes. right? When you think of Burgundy, mm -hmm. right? Then there was uh, South Africa, mm -hmm. right? With the Pinotage, Pinot. Then there was New Zealand. Of course, there was Oregon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and various, uh, various other people, right? So. For me, for me, telling this story, good. It's great for Marcus Molitor, right? He did a good job. He's a good winemaker. He's worked out his uh, his systems quite well, mm -hmm. right? And uh, they tend to work, right? But more so, the region, yes, right, to prove once again that you cannot make a good wine if you don't have a good grape, mm -hmm. and you can't have a good grape if you don't have a good soil. Right. And you can't have a good soil if you don't have a good region. Mm -hmm. And you can't have a good region if you don't have 
uh, the, the microclimate, mm -hmm. right? So when people come and say, fine, okay, you know, we know how to make the best wine, right? And uh, they do make the best wine. If it is supposed to be natural, and if it is supposed to be made the way it's supposed to be made, right? Then you don't need you don't need a uh, thousand and one chemicals or thousand and one technologies or you don't have to be the flying winemaker of of the world uh, mm -hmm. etc. If you have the, good, the 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 natural preserved original raw material right which is the grape the soil the minerality right. etc. Then you then you then you you automatically you automatically Right, will come out with the wine, right? Let's say that 60% good in any case, mm -hmm. right? Then you have your cellar, your wine making ethics, etc., right. hygienic, that will gain you the other 20%, mm -hmm. right? And if you make a wine that's 80% what it's supposed to be, you're already there where you, where you belong. Right, right. right. Yeah, because everybody has their way mm -hmm. of explaining what they taste, mm -hmm. right? It's not acidic. Yeah, yeah. It, it acidic is wrong. I know. Yeah, because what happens? What happens in Rieslings, right? You talk about you talk about uh, uh, the mineral mm -hmm. versus the mineral versus um, versus the the fruit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Makes sense. You, you you are looking at when you say mm -hmm. mineral you're looking at the the, the soire, which right. is the acid mm -hmm. right the fruit which it can also be acid right, Acidic, right. right? so you when you're looking at citrus <coughs> because because so this one is more seems more mineral than than that one yeah right? yeah yeah okay. yeah yeah but here here you'll see you, 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 you go through the, the the third one as well and 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 then and then you actually feel and understand what I'm talking about. Mm. See, I love that. I like the sweeter wines. Yeah. I just love it. Mm. Mm. I love that. I think I like the, the middle one. No, I could drink this all day long. <laughs> In the summer. Everybody has their own. And you know, and you know, and you know, he's absolutely right. Hmm? He's absolutely right. Hmm? And I'll explain to you why. Mm -hmm. Now, from what you've tasted, hmm? let me ask you a question. What do you think the level of alcohol is in these wines? 8%, 12%? No, 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 no. no, no. On, on this one here, for example, the first one. It didn't seem like a lot of alcohol. Okay, it? it's got... 11.5. Ooh. So that one's the highest. Okay. What do you think this one's got? Nine. Point five. What? Oh. Nine point five. Oh. <laughs> I, oh. I'm sorry. Nine point five. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eleven to nine point five to. Two. So that's that must be six, seven. Seven. Point five, seven point five. Seven point five. <laughs> so you see, so you see, so you see now what you just said is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Here you have a Sauvignon Blanc, or you have a Chardonnay that's 13, mm -hmm. 14, sometimes going to 15 mm -hmm. on a summer day, mm -hmm. hot, right? You're sweating out, right? You're drinking this wine as cold as you uh, as it can be, mm. right? Mm. And you think uh, you're enjoying yourself, but you aren't really, right? What you really need is either this mm -hmm. or more so this. Yeah. I well, like uh, this. We, we yeah. were commenting about that last night because we drink um, a lot of wine in the summer in Southampton outside. And, um, and I said... Oh, you know the Moselle ones. They have much lower. They have some Moselle wine that's much lower alcohol content, so we won't get so drunk so fast. That would be good. We can still drink, drink a lot more. of it, that's but right. we don't have to get yeah. drunk so and fast. That's, <laughs> and that and that is true. And that is absolutely true. No, I I like it a little bit more crisp tasting than that one. Um, yeah, which is you, why I kind of like. Yeah, but you see, one. you see, you see now, now, now what happens? Now what happens is when you when you're when you're when you're um, 
in a crowd of people here, mm -hmm. right? And you're looking for the person who's going to be your friend, right? You have to go and shake everybody's hand, <laughs> right? Here, at the moment, you've only shaken five people's hand. Right, mm -hmm. we don't know. Right? <laughs> you, know, you know, because you see, you see w what I've done is, I've kept, I've kept the vintage young, mm -hmm. I've kept cabinets. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay? These are flexible, mm -hmm. right? But I've kept, I, and I've given you different styles, right? Now, I see where your style is. Your, mm -hmm. your style is more, is more, more here. Right, you mm -hmm. you don't you don't like you don't like these you don't like the dry ones, mm -hmm. okay. So now what I'm going to do is the next set of tasting that I'm going to bring out is I'm not going to bring you a dry. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to bring you a spät laser. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'll do because you see I'm trying to guide your yes. taste. No, it's right? very very helpful and very instructive. Right, but what I, what I'm doing here is I am um, taking you around three different regions, all right? Because I want to show you the different styles of wine, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Whereby I'm keeping, whereby I'm keeping, I'm tr well, okay, yeah, with the exception, with know, exception of here. Well. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to, uh, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just using what I have here, right? right? So I'm, I'm trying to keep uh, young vintage, mm -hmm. let's say, so we get tens. But what, what is important for me to, is to show you here, right, is the cabinet. Yeah. Okay. And, but so what ones are those? Those are, um, what, how, are they calicates or are they um, Cabernet? Because mm -hmm. the grapes come from oh, all the regions, they, they have to oh. be, they, no, they have to be Calitate. Oh, calitate. Right. Even though they may be, even, even though mm -hmm. ours come just from one region, right. right? We cannot have it, we cannot have it as a, as a Cabernet. Right. So, so, so okay. it's, it's a Calitate. Okay. Yeah. I'm so just checking to not make sure I remembered what you told us. Yes, yes. So now, so now okay, we're so we, then now we're in the cab cabinet. Okay. So now, now yeah. So now we just we're just trying to sunny hour, um, heavens, um, re rain region. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't know what that one means. Uh, if you look at <laughs> if you if you look at if you look at Ad, uh, uh -huh. right? It's built in terraces. Oh. So trepe. Oh. Oh. Small, oh. Small, small little steps. steps. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just testing my German. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Do you have um, distributors in the United States? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In New York. Yes. Any any stores that you yes. can tell us? Because yeah. <laughs> we would like to bring some back, but but if we like them, we would like to be able to buy them there. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, no, no. I'll I'll give you. Okay, yeah, I'll give you what you. I, I, I was like, oh, we're very lucky. We got the the international distributor. He would actually know the answer to that question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whereas the tasting guy might not know. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's much more flavor. Big fruit. Now, now you see, it's open on the 23rd. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. I like that. Mm. It's, just, it's just a little more acidic. I don't know. It's fresher tasting because it's, mm, mm, you know, it's crisper. Mm. And it's a little sweeter? Uh, no, no. Same. No, at the moment, at the moment, at the moment, we'll just do the three wines mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. right? And then I'll explain later. Okay. 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 At the moment, I just want you to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So this will be first. This is fine hub. So mm -hmm. here we when I talk to you about styles, right? Here you start from a dry, an off dry. They're all cabinets. Mm -hmm. Off dry. And this will be the sweet. Okay. I guess that's what I'm tasting here too. <laughs> uh, wine companies. Mm -hmm. And I got um, uh, the red wine maker of the year award. 
Wow. And uh, and therefore I had to stop. <laughs> That's what, yeah, yeah, at yeah, the peak. <laughs> yeah, once 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 you get that you can't you can't you can't work any longer. <laughs> right, you have to stop. You become a consultant. Right. Yeah. Right. You become a consultant, you start writing for magazines, uh-huh. you get invited in onto juries uh, yeah. where you then taste wines in different countries. And then I did And where did you manif- where did you make this red wine? Uh, well, now comes the biggest mm-hmm. shock uh, was in Burgundy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was in Burgundy. Uh-huh. Right. In fact, it was um it was a uh, Chambord Musigny. Oh, oh, oh wow. Wonderful. I like that one. Yeah, it was a Chambord Musigny. Mm-hmm. And I like Chambord Musigny very much because Chambord Musigny for me is, uh, is, is a feminine wine in a masculine area. Hmm. Just like Pomar is mm-hmm. a masculine wine in a feminine area. Right. So, so it was nice to play with the Spinot mm-hmm. Noir and it was fun. So that's what I made. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, I, I'm very fond of those yeah. wines. And then, and then I went out, and then I went out to consult, uh, consult uh, in various countries, mm-hmm. uh, namely, namely uh, emerging countries, mm-hmm. uh, in particular India. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. they're growing wine in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they were there. Well, we planted wines, so, so you know. <laughs> so, so yes, 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 because they make uh, they make uh, the best tea in the world. So they've got the best soil. Yeah, right. right. They've got uh, the same sort of system as. Uh, Micro microclimates and uh, mm-hmm. so we played around with that. We found the right area, got a project to to finance the whole the whole system, and it's it's oh, off it's great. off and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very exciting. very exciting work yeah. you've done, yeah, and yeah. and sort of revolutionary or yeah. changing the face of wine. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, because you see, the thing is, the thing is, uh, for me, wine is wine is passion. Wine is a vehicle. Wine is uh, wisdom. Wine is uh, there's so much attached to it. Yeah. Right. And and therefore therefore you know uh, uh, it's very it's very dangerous. I mean you know uh, they they never let me into a tasting. Right? <laughs> yeah, because I mean you know you know I can I I can spend the whole afternoon with you, right? <laughs> and, and 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 you leave saying because what what happens here? Tastings, ten minutes, fifteen minutes uh-huh. maximum. You try two or three wines, yeah. right? You write out your order and like, out you are. That's that's what a tasting is, mm-hmm. right? And uh, and and so I, I don't get involved in that because. You know, that's that's. Uh, I, I I don't know how to. I don't you can't do it in that time frame. <laughs> well, there, yeah, there, you're not, there's no love of wine there. That's just. Yes. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. Yeah. I can't do that. If somebody, if, for me, if somebody's knocked on my door, mm-hmm. has taken pains to come and find out and where you are and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, you know, it's not. It's not pure coincidence. You know, if it's pure coincidence, then I'll say, okay, fine, okay. Uh, uh, fine, even a, a non-English person, mm-hmm. you know, can just pour out the wines. Auslese, Auslese, price. It's very simple, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's not a big deal. But whenever, whenever, whenever I'm with people, I say, I say, I, I find it, I find it my duty somehow, right, to to share what I have in in my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. To the off dry. Mm-hmm. Okay. We 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 said. Dry was too dry for you. Mm-hmm. We said these are the two wines that you like, mm-hmm. right? So now we are sticking to what we call an off dry. Mm-hmm. All right, we are the same wine garden, right? This is the Ban Kastler Badge Tube. Mm-hmm. This is the Ban Kastler Badge Tube. Mm-hmm. They are both spät lasers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'm doing here. Is I'm changing the vintage. I'm going to give you a young vintage, an 09, mm-hmm. to show you now how a Riesling ages, mm-hmm. right? So that's another aspect that I want you to 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 appreciate. And so, do they have, um, you know, how variable is the? I mean, I, obviously, weather has a lot to do with everything, but I mean, does the you know the fact that the these tend to have fairly high sugar. Does that does that make the vintages a little more um, uniform than um, say Burgundies or not? I don't know. You try this wine and then you then I'll, okay. answer, you, I'll ask I'll answer your question. I'd like to I, to to your great success. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> to your great award. Thank you. Now we're getting to where I like. I like this. This is even... Mm. A 
Okay, this is 09. This is an 09. Mm -hmm. And what year is the next one? 03. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. <laughs> you have to finish this. I'm just thinking about it. I'm digesting. too sweet in the beginning but I get used to, you get used to it. Well that has a lot of mineral in it. Yeah. It's very okay. Now you're having the same wine garden, the same spät laser, but an O3. And now you will see how the character mm -hmm. has developed and how things have changed. Hmm. Like the smell. It smells better. No, it's well right away there's almost a carbonation. There's a a um almost like it's uh but in a way I'd say a little lighter almost. Yep. It isn't as yeah, heavy. But it has that, that um, that's what I always done in the little I've drunk of wine. But the Rieslings, I always thought, they're not carbonated, but it tasted like there was a little... Yeah, I don't know what you call that when it's just on the edge of carbonation. Almost like there was a bubble in the, in, in the wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see what happens, what Marcus does, right? He, he, chooses, he, chooses, a, he chooses one, one particular wine, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in, 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 in this particular case, right, it was this wine that he chose, mm -hmm. and he puts, he puts it away. So it's like um, the champagne where you just make, you know, you, you keep the one, like, year <laughs> in particular. No, 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 no. One year, mm -hmm. one style, mm -hmm. one region, right? So this is, this is just, so he's just put 12,000 bottles away. Mm -hmm. And doesn't sell any of it. The 2003. 2003. Okay. Now, this year, the 2003, according to him, and I, I, I absolutely agree with him, mm -hmm. is ready, ready to drink. Yeah. This is ready to drink. So he's now released this this year, mm -hmm. and this is the third time he's done it, so this is his edition number three. <laughs> right? And this is what a Riesling should be. Tastes like mm -hmm. ready to drink, mm -hmm. right? Two thousand and three. That's seven plus. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the thousand, the thousand different wines that you need to taste, mm -hmm. right? But you're al you're already you're already going into a special direction. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. you're already saying, okay, this is good, but it's not good enough. This is was better, but it's still not good enough. You know, mm -hmm. you're you're now climbing right. the you're now you're now climbing to that to that area where you want to go. And because I've already hinted where you want to go, <laughs> right? I'm going to take you there. Good. Huh? Right? Mm -hmm. All right? At the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you, this is her wine. And this is your wine. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What you taste after that is just going to be for fun, right? Okay. But but mm -hmm. this is this is what I believe is going to be your wine. Okay. But I'll let you taste her wine too. Yeah. <laughs> like the smell. <laughs> Very sour, like fruity. Like like this it? is her wine. I, I know it. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I know it. Yeah. I know it. Yeah. You're yeah. right. Yeah. This is her wine. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I love the smell. Yeah. This is her Very wine. Nice. See, I, could, this yeah, is, no, no. I, could, I couldn't drink two glasses of this. Two yeah, but, for, yeah, I, I but, would just... yeah, but that's why it's her wine. Yeah. It's nice, though, because it's, it has a lot of mineral, but it's, um, it's also sweet. -ish. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's great combo. That, that's her wine. <laughs> great combo. Now, your wine. 
Okay. And she 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 won't like she won't, she she'll have the same comment. <laughs> Wait and see. No, it's nice and sweet. This is really good. I love this. See? But you might be right. If you drank two or three full glasses of this, that's, it's awful sweet. But I love this. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's... It, no, no, you, no, it's not you don't like it. Yeah. But when you, when you have to choose... I would, I would yeah. definitely vote for the first one. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you have to have just one wine, right? Uh, that would, right? It would, uh, the first one I know. Here you go. Okay, so uh, they're both. They're both Auslese. Auslese. They're both Schellinger, Schoenner, and Norton. So the same wine? I can't you tell told it. me. You checked me. What's the. Oh, oh one's, one's got three, three stars. Star. And, oh. two. and that's the extra sugar. Yeah. Ah. Uh, there you are. Very tricky. <laughs> slope here. Mm -hmm. If you look at the slope, you can see more or less the slope is broken into three. Yeah. There's the first, there's, there's, the, there's the bottom, mm -hmm. there's the middle, and then there's the top. Mm -hmm. There's always a bottom, middle, and top. Right? And that's no way. You, yeah. The star yeah. corresponds <laughs> yeah. to how uh, far up the hill they are? That's right. And so, the third one, the sweeter one, is at the top or right. the bottom? At the, the bottom. top. top. <laughs> what do you know about that, Mimi? That's so interesting. And the, is the, the dry um, at the bottom? No, so, so, so what I'll do is, what I'll do is, Trocken, Trockenbergen mm -hmm. Auslese, 2006, yeah, a young, yeah. a young one, yeah. right, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about. Liquid gold. <laughs> mm. Now, see, I don't like sweet, but this kind of sweet, like with the complexity yeah. Yeah, and everything, I like that. Um, Um, so it isn't just sweet, very complex flavors. Yeah. Almost like exotic floral. It's like caviar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 it's. Uh, I'm a texture. It's <coughs> viscous. Yeah. Thick. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. See, I like sweet things. This is fantastic. Wait, 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 wait till you have this. 91. Mm -hmm. 91? Yeah. Mm. Oh. For me, this is just a baby. You know, this right. is just a... <coughs> a very, very, very talented baby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A very, very <laughs> talented baby. Absolutely. You can tell, like, this one's going to become the... Uh... The PhD student. <laughs> no, no, that's no that that is the PhD student. Yeah. But now you're going to meet the professor uh -huh. who gave who gave who, who gave him the title. That's really really good. I'm enjoying that one a lot. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long. No, no, no. Take your time. This, I, mean, I like to taste it. Boy, that is quite a trip we've taken, isn't it? So many different. Yeah. It was quite a voyage. There's so many different smells. I think in we're here. very. I think we're very lucky to have arrived here when you're here today. This is yeah, just no, so in, great. I was just telling so my husband, oh, we really lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Now let me ask you kind of a bigger, broader question. Yeah. And as an expert, you may hesitate to answer, but I want you to be. I wish you had been drinking because you might be more canted had you had a few drinks. Do you feel that? The great old French vineyards have changed the way they're making wine in the past 15 years to make it a little more forward because of, you know, and, and how do you, look at the color. Beautiful. Do you, but you, you're, having, you're having the bottom of the bottle now, and that's the best part of the bottle. 
it's like the crude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in fondue, the, yeah, yeah. the burnt yeah, pot yeah, part, yeah, yeah, burnt cheese yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. And in fact, <laughs> my favorite in part. Fact, in fact, in fact, it's an honor to be at that level. It's an honor to be at that level on the bottle. Oh, good. You're going to have a glass. Yeah, no, no, no. Because this is, this is, this is, this is, this is actually pride. You wait till you get to here. Uh -huh. This is really the best part. Right. Yeah. You know, when you... Well, because, yeah, yeah I can see, I can, it's, it's, um, it's strange. What do you call that? It's like loaching. Yeah. <laughs> it's like loaching. Yeah. It, doesn't it look like yeah. loaching? So, thank you. Thank you Don't so very Good much. <laughs> I haven't had it yet, but... I'm just busy smelling. <laughs> oh, wow. It smells like honey. Flowered honey. Mark, Marco Smolita in 2000 and th 2003 got the highest level of sugar in one of his uh, vineyards. Um, 331 oxels. Is uh, also in the Guinness Book of Records because of that. No, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Highest level. Uh, and uh, as we speak, that wine is still fermenting. Wow. <laughs> wow. When will they release that? When? <sighs> Who knows? You wait on that stuff. You just wait. Yeah, that's the famous special... Well, yeah. you can hold it forever. <laughs> like you can have it <coughs> a thousand years from now. <laughs> no, to, to, co to come back to your, uh, to your question, because I think it's a, very, it's a, it's, it's a genuine question, and, and I think I can, I, can give you, I can give you my personal answer on that, because these are, these are points that I've debated on, on various occasions on, um, at, at various levels yeah. and with various different people with um, different point, points of view and also uh, different interests. Mm. Uh, there is there is a concept on making wine in a traditional manner, right? Now today, that word tradition, right, is strongly debated, right? What does what does tradition mean? Mm. Right? Mm. You speak to any winemaker or any wine producer, he will say, "We make our wine from tradition, passion, right." Uh, respecting nature, mm -hmm. exactly. You know, it's 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 become very yeah, standard. Yeah, I know. I, I, it's, yeah, it's, it's become very standard. It's common. So 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 that word so that word tradition is completely diluted. Mm -hmm. Today, today tradition doesn't mean what tradition meant ten years ago, fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, or thirty years ago, right? Uh, today, for example, we traditionally eat with our hands when we go to McDonald's, right? Right. Okay, traditionally. It's, that is tradition, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, whereas we were probably taught at home uh, when we were uh, a McDonald eating age, right? When we were uh, mm -hmm. 10, 15, right? Uh, how you'd sit at the table, how you'd use your fork, how you'd use your knife, uh, the respect, etc., uh, etc., etc. Et yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, today, uh, uh, Tradition teaches you away from that tradition. Mm -hmm. So when, when we translate that when we translate that to wine, we are addressing a completely different palate. Yeah. We're addressing a palate, right? That uh, is uh, young, that has uh, no consciousness of uh, developed wines, etc., etc. Uh, in the past, people used to buy their wines. Put them in the cellar, drink them ten years later, etc., mm -hmm. uh, etc. Et wines that were mature. Today, what's happening? You're having a party. You go into a shop, you yeah. buy your wine, and you bring it into the party. Right. right. Okay. So, 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 so the demand, the demands, the demands. Ten years ago, fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, that were that were put on a choice and for the way a wine should taste mm -hmm. are not the same as they are today. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you're looking at Marcus Molitor, for example, he says, well, I don't care about that. I don't care about the 99% of, or the 95% of mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. who are going that way. Right? right. I'm still going to make my wine this way, mm -hmm. and I will serve the 5%. And the 5% is enough for me. Mm -hmm. Because I enjoy making my wines, they enjoy drinking it.
Right. And if the 5% becomes 4, well, then it's too bad. And if the 5% becomes 6, then it's good. Mm -hmm. right? But he's concentrating mm -hmm. on, that, on, that, on that sector. And that's why he's making his wines the way he's making yeah. it. Now, you have, you have other uh, uh, wine producers who say, we are concentrating on that 95%. Therefore, we have to make our wines more every day easy to drink yeah right so what they would do is they would take out what what i call uh, uh in, in any in, of the eccentricities in, <laughs> in, in, yeah, in, yeah or what i would say say more, more, possibly from a medical uh, point of view right uh, an anti antibiotic right so you have a cough he gives you an antibiotic you have a headache, he gives you an antibiotic. You have an earache, he gives you an antibiotic. Right? So he says, it doesn't matter what you have. This anti antibiotic has got 20, 20 different sh bullets in it. Mm -hmm. Right? And it will, it will shoot and it will definitely hit the target one way or the other. Right. Rather than a sniper, right, who's going to take his time, like him, right, and pinpoint that, like what I just did. Right? right? I came down and I said... This is your wine, and this is your mm -hmm. wine. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then this was just dessert, you know, just to mm -hmm. finish off. Mm -hmm. Rather than saying, okay, I'll give you, mm -hmm. I'll give you one right. general well, wine. Well, there's one size fits all. <laughs> yeah, one size fits all, right? Yeah. One size fits all, right? And today what has happened is we're going into a one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, and... And, well, and, I think and, it, and, it, it's and like it, a forcing of, of uniformity, uh, you know, and, and uh, things get more and more right. alike. And uh, right now, now coming to the French, now coming to the French, because that's what that's what the question was, right? Well, they've owned that world for so long. I mean, you know, for for sixty years, everyone bought the French Bordeaux, and they put them in the cellar. That was the way that wine yeah, yeah, was. Yeah, but, yeah, but you, see, you, see, you see, the French the French were very lucky. They were very lucky to have this renommée, right? This recognition and this, this, uh, this, this importance, right? There, were, there, was, there was a time, and this wasn't very long ago, maybe 30 years ago, 20 years ago, right? If you're invited to somebody's house for dinner, right, you'd either take a bottle of wine, a bunch of flowers, or a box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. If it was a wine that you chose, right, nine out of ten, it was going to be French, yeah. mm -hmm. right? But safe. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's what she said, and it's right. It, no, I mean, no, in no, terms no, no. of like impressing the get the the hostess. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't matter, it doesn't yeah. matter how you meant it. Mm -hmm. You are right. It was safe. Mm -hmm. It was safe in giving. Mm -hmm. It was safe in receiving. Mm -hmm. It was safe. It, it was the word safe is mm -hmm. correct. It was whichever way you want to look at it, mm -hmm. it was safe. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you look at the situation today, if it's not going to be chocolate or flowers, and if it's still going to be wine, it's not nine out of ten. It's now gone down to three out of ten. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why has it gone down to three out of ten? Because you've got you got Aussies. Mm -hmm. Right, you got the you got the the, uh, the, 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 the New Zealanders, South Africa. No, no, it all, the, yeah. when people come to our house and bring us a bottle of wine, yeah, the people who bring French are our really cheap friends, <laughs> and they go into the liquor store yeah. and they see some. They buy. It the says wine. French, but it's eleven dollars, yeah. twelve, like hack it, mm -hmm. you know. But the people who bring us a nice wine, it's usually yeah California or they they say wait till you try this you know Chilean wine is a yeah, good Chilean yeah, good yeah, South yeah, Africa yeah. yeah because because you see what has happened is the French the French have lived on this uh, on this on this um, reputation capital yeah it was a capital yeah. right and now and now that 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 it was a dishonest capital mm -hmm. right and and dishonest capital of course is always stolen away right. i mean i have i have i have uh, i have nothing against the french i i uh, i, oh, I, I, not I if you yeah. made yourself of <laughs> yeah yeah but what, but what i'm saying what i'm saying is yeah. in every region right and and i can talk to you about french wines uh, uh, like german mm -hmm. wines right i mean you know uh, I, 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 I can drill out uh, French, uh, exactly. So you have you have you have your six regions in France, right? Of the six regions, right? In every region, right? You have one or two producers that stand out and say, "We are going to be the the suppliers 
uh, to that 5%. Mm -hmm. Petrus. Right? Uh, Petrus is no longer that. Yeah. No. No. Really? No. I don't, I don't oh, that's such is. a shame, really. No, no, because what has happened, what has happened is the moment, the moment Petrus, uh, Cheval Blanc, uh, all the Grand Cru Classé, right, mm -hmm. uh, were, were encouraged to produce more mm. because of the demand from Asia and in particular China, yeah. right? The greed for money brought the quality down. You yeah. look at a Petrus today compared to a Petrus... Okay, today they're selling the name, mm -hmm. right? right? But from a quality point of view, I wouldn't spend that kind of money yeah. for a bit. No, I wouldn't either. 